All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the little details to install this. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead to some steps, like mounting the base plate. I can show you overview real quick, but I'm not gonna go step by step on this. There's a million videos out there. Just uh, you do a quick YouTube search and you can find a million videos how to actually install it, put the base plate on, and do all that good stuff. So I'm gonna skip ahead on that and just get this thing mounted. But I'll show you where I'm at right now. Right now, I have the uh, the side covers off. You see right there. Um, this side cover here just slides slides over here because you got the power cord right there. It gets in the way, so just slide that out of the way. Um, I got my base plate here and the screws showing through here. So I'm just gonna put some washers and nuts in there, secure that, and then. Go ahead and find the best spot right here. It's gonna hopefully this all clears. I'm hoping this gate clears. If the gate doesn't clear, then I do have some movement room to move this gate up. Maybe another inch. Hopefully I don't have to move the gate upward. So this beam right here will clear. Trolling motor. Anyway, let's get to it. I can kind of see something that's in the way already. My cleat looks like it's gonna be in the way. You can see these holes over here. My foot is, there's two holes there, two over there. It looks like someone already mounted a trolling motor in the front before. It was probably the first owners because the previous owners did not have this on here. Looks like they probably put the cleat in its place right in the center of the boat. So anyway, let's get that close. Next, we're gonna install the prop so it says to remove that discard this the red shipping washer discard that okay and then they say take that off reuse that take that off there it's gonna go on just like that you got the prop boom 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 and then Take this off, that's discarded, that's keyed, it's got this little shaft going through, that going. wiggle that, put your stainless washer back on, and then go ahead and put this back on, what size was that, nope. I have anything? Yep. Nothing fits. All right. Beans. That's on. She's on. All right. I put that on just for placement to make sure everything's clearing. Look at that. That's gonna be perfect. I ha I had to move this down. Oh yeah. Another thing. I had to move this this whole bracket right here because it was riding up. Is right up like right here, something like that. Dropped all the way down. Everything's all good. Had to just loosen these, loosen these up. These four bolts, and then drop her down. So that's what we end up with. And it's got a nice little lip here. It has all this mating surface here to hit, and it's still gonna work. That's all good. I'll go ahead and latch that. All right, let's move on. Now we're still trying to find the placement for this thing.
All right, here's the little um, plate that I made to make up the difference with this lip. This lip that's right here. Anyway, here, let me, let me get you a good view in here. So this plate Come on, wiggle, wiggle. All right, then that goes down here now. There you go, let me show you this. I just screw that one in a little bit but anyway you get what I'm talking about um, it's gonna be that so see the uh, the aluminum plate there it should make it level it should be just enough to make it level all right so I had to do a double spacer here you can see right here, I got two pieces of aluminum right in there now. So now, the two pieces of aluminum, it's level with this. I mean, the whole board's level. I think that's the problem. The puck, the, if the puck's not level um, all the way from front to back, then the holes here don't line up from the outer bracket to the inner puck, the inner bracket. All that stuff's not gonna line up, so it's gotta be level. So that's how I leveled it out. Just happened to use some um, scrap aluminum, aluminum sheets. Ooh. So that was my fix there. More and more modifications. Oh, the things we do for some good old boating. Right? Right, I might go fishing. And I wish to get the biggest fish. Okay, I'm just going to do something quick, cheap, and easy for my batteries. Because this is a 24 volt trolling motor, I'm going to need two 12 volt batteries. Um, I had one 12 volt ampere time, 100 amp hour battery already, so I want something that's going to be similar. But I found this, and they offer it in the mini version. Look how small this is. Both 12 volts. Look at the size difference. This is 23 pounds, 23 to 24 pounds advertised. This is 19 pounds advertised. Same company, actually the same company. If you notice this, they changed the name. Lie time, used to be Ampere time. But in the um, instructions and all the, uh, the paperwork that came with it, it says Ampere time. You can tell, very similar, same company. But look at the size difference. Huge size difference. Anyway, I'm gonna put these in series to get my 24 volts. And that's gonna give me the power for this trolling motor. Also, the cheap way of doing this is gonna be mounting some battery boxes in here because I wanna try it out tomorrow. Take the family. Out. Um, so all I'm gonna do try to figure out what's gonna be the best configuration. Alright. It's gonna have to be it right there. I'm just gonna bolt that right in there, bolt that right in there. Um, actually, you know what? There's not enough room for someone. Yeah. 
Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way. I'm gonna bolt them in like that. That way when you're sitting here, you have plenty of room. Just like that. Even though it's a little, a little claustrophobic on this side, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, let's see how these batteries fit. They should fit. This is the small one. I have a, a smaller. I think it's, this is probably a 27 size battery box. Fits right in. The larger one. Oh, go ahead. Help me. Oh my gosh. This is so heavy. Well, you're strong. There we go. Snug as a bug. All right, battery boxes are in. They're nice and sturdy. They're in. Um, there's like a recessed area here, as you can see, there's two. Um, I drilled a hole here and here so water can get out. Same with here, there's like four recessed areas here. So I drilled a hole in each. Like so. so no water will be trapped in there. That's it for now. It's getting it's getting a little dark. I'm gonna continue this in the morning. And yeah. Keep at it. Alright. This might be a this might be a part two. I think this video is getting a little long. All the issues that arise.